it today using my July yeah for the love of homemade kit kit I'm doing the layout for the paper girls design team for the 3rd of August challenge and the theme for that is summer summery stuff and since the kit was fairly summery and involved all manner of summery motifs it seemed like um, an appropriate choice to run with that and I had a particular layout in mind about ice cream and so when I was pulling embellishments for the kit I was pulling out a lot of ice creamy stuff this photo which I accidentally cut off the white border so I need to mat it on a bit of white of my two lovely nieces it's not a particularly like the photo it's not about the photo it's more about this very cute conversation that these two had so that's going to be the journaling it's not going to be super long but it's definitely something I want to preserve and what I thought I would do is this is a Chamel layout from one of her Friday lives a few weeks back she brought back her starting points she used to do starting points so kind of like a sketch but she has a very basic beginning to the page and her challenge for the starting point was five strips of pattern paper and using a four by six journaling card and here she's used it as a photo mat so it doesn't have to be used as a journaling card so I've got a few to try out and what she's done is used a stencil and some ink and done some dots now I've pulled out a few of these color blast pastes because I thought well they look kind of ice creamy they certainly do when they're wet in the pot so that could work or it might not it might go horribly wrong so there's lots of stickers and die cuts um, I've gone through that big thing of die cuts and pulled out the ones that I think are relevant along with say this has got that lovely big ice cream um, there's these and some of these dimensional flowers also my younger niece has no this one she's got some unicorns on her top so little girls ice cream unicorns it seems like a pretty natural progression I've already pulled out a bunch of stickers I think they're pretty much all from different Chamel collections glitter girl head in the clouds glitter girl and these ones are from uh, a box of crayons I went to the scraps and this is what I started coming up with. I remember I had this paper and the orange and purple, it kind of got me on an orange, purple and pink tangent. Now the girls are wearing, I think it's navy blue, but it sort of looks kind of close to purple. So there's a bit of chunk of this which goes from um, an orangey, it's on pale pink and it goes from an orange to a pink to a purple. There's this bit which has the super fun in that ombre but there's also these ice creams on the back. So the strips need to be roughly about an inch wide so I definitely could get both out of that. This I definitely want to use because that's sort of all the colours and then some. And the flowers are really girly. There's this bit, uh, not the unicorns although I could cut some out. The purple. This is sort of that navy blue, almost purple. I'm not sure. Um, but that's basically roughly kind of the colour scheme that we're going with. Oh, this strip as well. Now, these are some backgrounds I pulled out from the kit. Originally, this one went in the kit as a, in the, I think, choose a pattern paper with at least three colours. Yeah, but then I turned it over and I really like this wood grain. So I'm 99% sure I'm going to go with that. Except what I really wanted was one of these ice cream sprinkles type papers. And the other colours I've picked and the other papers I've picked just aren't going to look great with any of them. I mean, I could still get away with adding some of the paste and it will stand out. But I think I'm going to have to go with that one. So it's kind of cheating but oh well I definitely want that what I will do is cut this I might just cut the strip that says fun and then I've got the option of using both this one I'm going to have to cut a couple of strips in sort of the same spot so I can sort of join them together and cover the join and then these two I can figure out as I go along so how many of that one two three four 
I guess one of these is five. I'm going to go and chop all those up and then figure out the rest. Well, I've got my branding strip off and these strips chopped up to slightly different widths and lengths. This one I can pretty much join it exactly where it's supposed to join. This one I can figure so out. I went through my little stack of um, four by six cards and because this was printed on the selfie with a border and it is quite a bit smaller the only two that don't show the square that's behind are these two and I'm leaning towards going with this wood grain one like Chamel did on hers simply because I just think that if I use say that one it's just a bit busy because then when I add the embellishment and then the dots and all that kind of stuff it's just going to go completely over the top. I pulled out this heart stencil. I can't remember. It might be a Heidi Swap one. So I will carefully move those over to there. What I thought I'd do is take inspiration from some of those ombre papers that start with like an orange or yellow and then run down to pink. And if I put these in order, say from orange, and then I'd go to the red. Which, which one is the red? It's the fire engine. And then the pink. I'm not sure which pink. I think the lipstick one might be too dark because I think it goes on as a hot pink. And then one of those. Well, but then the transition from pink to purple is probably more natural. Anyway, so I'll pick, pick four of these. It's probably going to be crazy busy, but most of my layouts are. <laughs> It's all dry and I have just sprinkled a little bit of gold mist which is not dry but I think I can work around it. I've also inked up my strips with some grey ink and I'll start sticking them down and then hopefully the mist will be dry. It doesn't take very long. This is definitely going to be a job for glue dots because the mixed media stuff. So this one I think I want it on the end, kind of sort of like that. photo down making sure that both the joins are covered mm, I'm kind of thinking I'm about putting the photo on foam squares just to make it stand up a little bit um, actually I've got a bit of this fun foam that'll do <laughs> now I have pulled out of my um, container a short list after the first short list this is the next short list because that's how it, it works this I thought I can cut that off if I use that bit and then some other bits there are some flowers some ice cream die cuts other random stuff I would love to use some of these felt shapes and I wanted to get it to this point so I could see how it's going to look. Um, I wanted to try and steer clear of aqua. There's a tiny bit here and the ice cream sign in the window. But if I use that one and then the butterfly, sort of one in each area, that 
might be a possibility. Yeah, um, the flowers are kind of whimsical looking, as are some of these. So if, if I did use those, I think it would also be all right. But I'll start by cutting out those. Absolutely love stuff on plastic. Oh, and this this ice cream. It does have the sprinkles in the um, glitter in the what do you call it? The sequins in there. Right? silver rather than gold but that's okay. Here are the stickers. Okay. Um, okay, title needs to go here. Um, which I don't know what that's going to be yet. I mean, I have a few ideas. I need to I haven't figured out the font for that. So, let's get this flower cluster business happening um, hmm. prefer this one down here. Hmm. I do like that. I'm just not sure if it kind of unless I put it on this side. I think just to give it a bit of a shadow. The alternative is to cut away that blue, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I pulled out way too much, haven't I? Yeah, you always do it. Always happens. It always happens. It's a cute sentiment, and the colours go well. I'd probably cut that apart because these two get along really nicely. So. I think that's what I'll do. And I can sort of overlap them just a bit. and put some of those on squares. Stick that there. Now I definitely want to use up a fair whack of these stickers because I've already pulled them off and I'm just going to have to put them back if I don't. But I think that there are just going to be way too many. I'm going to have to, going to have to pull, put some back. I think I'll put the flowers, some flowers down, and then it might become clearer what to do with the stickers. It could be that two ice cream motifs might be enough. That would be sad if it was. <laughs> some of these down because otherwise I'll be moving them around and fiddling everywhere. I'm thinking that the more I look at it the more I think that those well the colors work on those felt bits they're just it's just not working for me something just bugs me about it maybe they're too big. These will probably need a glue dot each.
these are on paper so they don't in fact they might go on foam maybe oh, this needs adhesive I didn't really need glue dots there, but that's okay. It can't hurt. If I put the each other just in like this, then I'll put the others on foam. <laughs> that big bubbly bit and I've still got some room to add other stuff so I want to find a flower that I can sort of tuck like that it's not too big not too small and that doesn't look like the middle um, like I'm trying to replicate a center for this red one so that's sort of the Goldilocks of flowers That's not even very sticky. I'm going to have to sort that out. Okay, if I put that something like that. stem look like it's part of this flower couldn't I? Where did my sticky ice cream go? Strangely I don't completely detest that so if I put glue dots there and maybe a foam square there that has potential. Now some ice cream treatment up the top. How about a unicorn? Not there because because unicorns and ice cream and everything are a natural combination. Okay, I'll just make her kind of hide among these blossoms. I'm told they're rather shy creatures. I'm so devo that I'm going to have to put all these stickers back. Oh well, that's how it rolls when you can't make up your mind. Too. I think I would like something slightly more horizontal although this is probably a good time to figure out this title business. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to use these sparkly dear Lizzie thickers in white. They're not going to be super in your face but I think they'll still be legible enough. Alternatively I have these. I like that it brings in the gold but it does bring in yet another wood grain which may or may not be I mean they're quite a bit wider and if I'm going to spell both words from the thickers then I think that I'm better off going with the narrower font <laughs> stickiness is actually not too bad surprisingly I'm not sure that I'll need to add anything to it they seem to be staying down that will remain to be seen I pulled off this guy while I was trying to put back some of these stickers and then gave up because they're really not sticky anymore because I want some of this darker color over here so I think I might put this down I'm not fussed as to whether it's the fact that it actually is a unicorn or not because I may even put something over it I don't know I've 
added a little bit of extra mist because I thought it needed it. It's wet, but that's okay. I'm going to try and avoid it. I only want to put down these butterflies. This one I thought I'd put out here maybe. Not sure whether I'll put him on pop dots or not. Possibly this guy. Oh, maybe over here because there's this kind of ugly looking spot there. And this one, perhaps somewhere like this. Somewhere on this box. See, it looks better on this corner, but then I think I want something. If I pull it up and then put it up a bit higher, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, this guy over that ugly bit. And I think he's going to get lonely without pop dots. So pop dots for everybody. I feel like Oprah. And that's good because this space was kind of a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be. So it makes it look almost like I did it on purpose. Right, last thing, some kind of sparkly bits, enamel dots, something like that. So I found these Prima, say it in crystals. Some of them are quite interesting with a bit of a purple and ombre type of colour. Otherwise there's just the lighter purple. I could put one like this in each group, a special one. Because this is shiny and sparkly. Yeah, I'll do that. I've decided on some doodle bug uh, glittery sprinkles and these ones have a slight creamy gold kind of a vibe to them so I think they'll go with the title and this kind of warmer background and the gold bits so yeah that's what we're doing loving the placement over here but it is what it is I'm not changing it now especially since some of them have proved to be a bit challenging to come off the page that's where I'm going to leave it I will have some still photos up on my blog and as always if you ever want to read the journaling I take photos and put it up nice and big there so that you can see exactly what it says and the what my younger niece is saying sort of feeds directly into the title and that's why it and that's why I've called it health food so thanks so much for watching please have a look at what the other girls on the paper girls challenge for the 3rd of August have made and I'll link all that down below I will link Chamel's Facebook video down there as well and the links to all my socials including the blog posts so thanks again and I'll see you around bye